Hello everyone, welcome back. Oracle integration cloud interview questions. So let us look into question number 21 to 25 in this video. Question number 21, what is mapper? Mapping is one of the key features in any of the integration where two or more applications are talking to each other. In most of the cases, the messages we want to transfer between two applications in integration have different data structures. And sometimes applications may expect data in XML format. Some applications may expect in JSON format. So we need to handle all of them and map the data. So a visual mapper allows us to map field applications by dragging source field onto the target fields. So let me show you what it means. I just, I'm just opening a mapper in integration. So this is a mapper view. So left side you can see all source data structures and right side you can see target data structures. Okay. So when you want to map a field, so here email is mapped to email, the target, but let me remove this mapping just to show you how we need to map. See here, we just need to drag source field onto target field and just leave it. See mapping is generated and also you can just drag and drop into this expression builder too. Let me just drag and drop here. See, mapping is created. And you can also add functions from by clicking on this. You just need to click on this and you can see the functions and you can just drag and drop your functions. Let's say you want to concatenate something. You just need to drag and drop concatenate function and you need to provide and to just concatenate email ID with something test. So this is how we need to map the fields in YC mapper. Okay. What is the developer view in OIC mapper? Developer view. So we need to click on developer view when you want to disable user-friendly source and target element names in the mapper. Disable user-friendly source and target element names in the mapper. By default, user-friendly elements names are shown. What is mean by user-friendly element? So let's say you are working on order integration. So when you're working on order integration, what, what are the types of, uh, I mean, what, 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 uh, what fields we can expect? Order ID, order number, uh, you know, order start date, end date. These are the general fields. So user-friendly name means order number. Means you can understand by just looking at the name. Oh, this is order number. We need to map order number to this. Order name, order ID. So these, these fields you can understand by just looking into the name. But what is actual tag behind that? Order underscore num underscore C. So this is the actual tag. Sometimes target side, one or more fields may have the same user friendly name. In that case, when you want to map the value to the correct field, you should be knowing, I mean, you should find what is actual tag of that user-friendly tag, I mean, sorry, you know, behind that user-friendly name. Then only you can just map that you know, source field into the correct target field. So let me show you that in application. See, this is a developer view we need to click on this to see that but here you know uh, developer friendly and also 
uh, user friendly and the actual names were same hello and hello so you cannot see the difference here but best example for that is salesforce you know i'm working on salesforce integration there we are you know mapping fields into one of the salesforce object and when you click on the developer mode you can see uh, see the difference very clearly that will have same like what i was saying order underscore num underscore c so something like that you can see and the actual user friendly name is order number okay i think you know you got what i'm saying okay what is the xslt view in yc mapper click to show the xslt functions so we need to click on xslt view when you want to show the xslt functions what is mean by that let me show you that see here this is the xslt view so when you want to add when you want to use functions what we need to do we need to click on this icon so i just clicked on the icon and i can see functions operations but when you click on XSLT, you can see XSLT functions as shown. When you click on this again, this will this is disabled. So we, when you are when you want to work on XSLT functions, you need to click on this. And also in a mapper, you can observe. See, when I click on the XSLT, this this is normal view, and here you can see hello message, email. But when you click on XSLT, this is actually what we have. See, we are checking a condition when it is not equal to zero, then only we are mapping that to message. So this is, this is just, uh, uh, I just added this choose and when for this demo. So this is the difference. When you click on XSLT, this all gone. When you click on XSLT, when you move to the XSLT view, you can see this and also right side you can see XSLT tags are showing. Okay, so that is the difference. What is the reposition in OIC? What is the reposition in OIC? Using this feature, one can move a node to different location. For example, you added a SFTP connection in the beginning of the integration, and later you wanted to move it to the branch of a switch condition. So when you want to do that change, using a reposition, you can just move that SFTP connection from beginning to that particular branch. Let me show you that. Let me just close this. Discard. See here, you can see the reposition here. Normally, when I click on this, I can see view, edit, and delete. But when I click on reposition and click on this, see, you can see, you can drag to some other place, the same variable. And you can also drag this logger and you can also drag this mapper. Okay, when you want to reposition a component in integration, you can use reposition. You can just simply drag to the place where you wanted to add this. Okay. Can we reposition all OIC components? Explain. This is again good question. The container actions such as while loop, for loop, and switch actions and so on cannot be repositioned. Only collapsed scopes can be repositioned. You know, when you're working, you can easily understand this. 
See, if I am using here, we already tried that. We can reposition mail. We can reposition map or variable and all. But we cannot reposition this switch. And we cannot reposition for loop, for each. Sorry, yeah, for each. And uh, scope, collapsed scope can only be repositioned. So that is also the we need to remember. So we cannot re reposition all. Thank you all. We'll continue in the next video. Good luck.